everybody, Allie here, and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how I made this light up magical fairy tree card. And I've already started by creating my card front, and it contains a cute little owl in front of the moon, and a little tree and a fairy, and the tree has a bunch of little windows in it. And we're going to light those up, as well as the moon, and the little heart above the fairy. I've already created a blocker or a mask for the owl because I don't want the owl to light up. And there are the cutouts for the little windows in the tree. And I've also included the same image on the inside of my card to build my circuit on. We're going to use the craft stencil and we're going to use the middle little stencil piece there to mark out all of our LED light sticker locations. I'm going to place four stickers all around the moon. There we go, one, two, three, four. We're going to put a sticker where the, her little heart is. We're going to make that fade. We're going to put a sticker in each of the windows on the tree there. One, two, three. And there we go. This is our battery holder and you just fold it up. It has a 3D fold in it. You're going to peel the back or sticker off the back and you're literally just going to stick it down wherever you're going to press on the front because it becomes your switch. And it's easy as that. There we go. Now we're going to connect all of the negative aspects of our stickers and I'm going to use my blue pen here to show negative line and I'm going to connect all of those stickers to the same circuit. They do not have to be in a straight line. You can have multiple strips or multiple parts of your circuit come off one line. So I'm just trying to figure out here what is the best way to kind of connect all of my stickers together. So we're going to go up now up into that moon and connect the four stickers that are up there. I try to make the lines that cross my sticker straight. The contact is just a little bit better when your circuit is straight. So therefore that's why I'm not going from point to point. And there we go. There's the negative side. We're going to do the exact same thing with the positive side, except we're going to come out the top of our little battery holder. And this time I'm going to use a red pen to indicate the positive side of our circuit. And again, they don't have to be lined up in a row. You can make little offshoots or you can, in this case, I'm going to connect almost everything with a single line. The conductive fabric tape is very easy to bend and very easy to cut. So you can make as many joints as you need to connect all of the aspects of your circuit together. And all it is is straight lines overlapping all of those fatter parts of our stickers. There we go. And there we go. We have a little fork at the end of our positive side. There we go. We have uh, now mapped out our entire circuit, the negative and the positive. There we go. Really easy. The trick is, is not to overlap any of your lines. We're going to use our heart-shaped red fade LED sticker today. We're going to use that for her little teeny heart. So we're only going to use one. But all it is is a matter of peel and stick. And that's how easy these LED light stickers are to use. Just a little bit of adjustment here just to make sure that everything crosses those lines. And a quick press. We're going to use some regular white LED lights. They're indicated by the W on our little sticker. And we're going to fill in the rest of our LED sticker locations with white LED stickers. And again, it's just a peel and stick. And you can use the stickers on the bottom of your circuit or the top. All right, there we go. There's all of our light stickers in position. Now we just have to apply our conductive fabric tape. 
So I'm going to start off with my negative side and I'm going to start on the inside of that battery holder. And there we go, we got our first piece. It bends just like you need and if you need to trim it to make little legs or to extend it, you can. To create corners, all you have to do is bend it back on itself and it's super easy. You can even make it fairly rounded too, instead of having straight tape. Reminder just to make sure that your two sides of your circuit don't overlap. There we go. There is our final little end there. Now I did realize at this point that I had forgotten to add one of our stickers to the combination there. So there we're going to put our last little leg and there's the negative side of our circuit. Very simple. As long as you overlap that tape, your circuit is done. And voila, there goes our positive side indicated in red. And I started on the inside of that battery and continued it around our red line. I'm just taking a bone folder just to make some really good uh, connections between my stickers and all of my conductive fabric tape. You don't have to do this. You can use your finger, but I just used a bone folder. Next, we're going to complete the installation of our battery. These are our C-shaped foam battery holders. Just peel off the backing and you're going to put it on the inside of your battery holder. One, two, three, stick it down. You can pop your battery in. There we go. And we are going to give our circuit a try here. Making sure that battery's in the right spot. I did notice that my tape didn't quite touch one of my stickers. So I'm going to use our conductive fabric tape little bandages, so to speak. And I'm just going to make a little bit firmer contact just over that one little sticker because I wasn't sure it reached. And there we go. A little check of our lights and look, our red sticker fades in and out extra cool. All right, to complete the inside of my card, I'm going to add foam tape. I'm just going to encircle the card all the way around. Now, to save myself some tape, I actually cut my tape in half. So I'm just going to apply it around the outsides of the cards, trimming where I need it. One, two sides, and then I'm going to cut another piece, and we're going to do the last two sides go a little trim trim there we go and piece number four okay now if you're going to close this card you're going to peel off all those foam and close your card and here it is activated from the front we have a moon three little windows and look at that little heart fading in and out red so super cute and we'll show you in the light here it's for, it is a bright card, so you can actually see it lit up, even in the light. And there we go, a super cute card, and I hope you take a moment to leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to check out any of the videos that are showing on the screen. Have a wonderful week, and go and play with your TV.